So next topic we, we are seeing is basically transpose of a vector. Okay. So it is nothing but for instance, if I have a row vector, it will convert into column vector. And if I have column vector, it will actually interchange the things, right? So now for instance. Uh, let me consider a small example, like maybe m equals to 1, 9, 6, 8. Okay. If I take m dash, that is like transpose of this, I'm going to get this is a basically row vector. So it will convert into column vector 1, 9, 6, 8. This is the application of transpose basically. So uh, it's nothing but actually like what is going to happen is like uh, I can take one example of uh, real time systems. So uh, in certain application like uh, especially like in convolution neural network, what I'll be doing. So I will have this kind of uh, serial data which is coming in. Okay. And uh, what I may have to do like see for instance like let me consider one image. Okay, so what I need to do, I have to sample each pixels and this is also pixels. So what I'll be doing, I need to convert into time series data. What I'll do, I'll pick this entire row and I will take the transpose of it and I'll pick again next entire row and I'll take the transpose of it. And what I can do like actually like uh, there is one more operation what we will be seeing that is concatenation concatenation that we will see next. So I can concatenate and I can convert the spatial data of the image into some time domain data which I can process inside my convolution neural. So it's a, especially image processing application. Okay. So if time permits we will see that as well how uh, we can actually like do some image processing using convolutional neural network. There are various other neural networks also, recurrent neural networks, etc. So uh, this is one example. So we will see uh, in the MATLAB how we can perform this operation. Uh, A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I take A transpose, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. It changed from row vector to column vector. 